Carter. Now, I'm here with Coach Ghost. Now, it seemed like you all were going to wrap this up early on, but Sentinels managed to push it, push it to OT. So I'm kind of curious, how did you all regain that focus to ultimately win? Well, I think it has been kind of our story that we're being very dominant, but then we're kind of losing our, our uh, game plan. So I think it's been our focus to, to try to just like focus on what we're doing, don't get carried away by the game, and just like focus on what's making us win and just like execute it perfectly. So that's kind of like what we have been uh, doing and what uh, made us like close game. Close the game. Honestly, I can't wait to see the execution and focus in map two. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. Hopefully, uh, you know, you feel you feel good about that one. That was a, whew, in the words of, of, of Jim Ross, that was a, a slobber knocker, a barn burner, if you will. That was just utter insanity, top to bottom. Why I don't want to start with you because I reference wrestling. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. there, I mean, it's just, that was just, I, I, Leviathan certainly let that one slip, and there's one that they definitely have to feel like a sigh of relief, but it should not have gone to that point given where they were in that match. I mean, if, if they lost that one as well, my disposition here would be much more frustrated because it was just like, really, guys, are we doing this again? I mean, after what happened last week on Ascent with Ospos dropping 34, whatever that was, King 30. Yeah. But thank God they brought this one over the finish line. They can't, they had such a hot start against a sin that just looked really cold. They were losing all of the first engagements, having to save so many of the early rounds yeah. to allow them to get out to this huge lead. And then once the sides swapped and sin were kind of coming back into the game, like, like please, please, don't do this again. And I mean... <laughs> They didn't, so, you know, it's all right. I'm yeah. not going to freak out. I mean, so many individual highlight moments here, but Shazam, there, there definitely was one individual in particular <laughs> that popped off. 47 kills. They put MVP there. I feel like that's insulting. <laughs> just, I mean, that was nuts, man. Yeah, it was insane. I mean, Ospos, I, I mean, I might think he's, like, the best player in the world right now. Yeah. Um, I just never see him not have an insane match, and that performance, it's, it seemed like everything, he tried to do everything he could to close that match out. And, we decided uh, to dedicate <laughs> our analyst desk area to the face of Boss Boss. This is now the church of Boss Boss. It's I'm, only okay. thing. Like, it, it truly is. Shaz, like, if you're in a game, if you're, you're in a match, you're playing against Lev, and he's doing that, <laughs> what do you do? What do you what do? What is the response? Honestly, like, when you're playing against a player that's popping off, you're not really, like, focused on it still. You're kind of just sticking to your game plan. Um, and it's not when you look back to the match and think, like, dang, like, this yeah. guy actually farmed us. Yeah. Uh, it's after the match that, that the realization comes in. But during the match, you're, like, kind of just tuned in on, like, what you guys are doing. Um, and, yeah, afterwards, they're, they're going to realize, like, wow, Hospos actually just farmed us. Crazy stuff. By the way, you can see right there, he breaks the record 47 kills in a single map. That is a record. So when we were, like, tallying the record, it started off with Americas. We were like, oh, okay, cool, he's going to break the record in Americas. That's nice. And then it was like, oh, oh, oh actually, he's going to break the record uh, for international leagues. Oh, no, he just broke the whole damn record. There are no <laughs> records left to break. There's nothing I mean, left, man. And, again, praise be that they won that map. They still could have lost. Because otherwise, we, we <laughs> yeah, almost no. like witnessed Aspas becoming a streamer. This is time. what it took. <laughs> because that would have been tragic. <laughs> I mean, the mental, like, you just crumble, right? Yeah. And I, you know, we were talking about Levitan in their uh, celebration afterwards. I'm sure more of that was like a sigh of relief that like, holy shit. King smoke. was literally bowing to him. We didn't throw that game. We almost did. He's not gonna we leave. tried. <laughs> holy smokes, King man. was bowing to the man. That's how wild it was. All right, well, let's go ahead and hear from Coach Kaplan. Hear what he's, he has to say as we get ready for map number two. Joining me right now, we have Coach Kaplan. Amazing performance. I know you all didn't win, but I'm kind of curious. What are you all going to do on map two to kind of turn things around? Yeah, we just got to look at why did we lose that map? Number one, we just didn't care for a half and that's not okay so we basically played without a half and then number two i think uh, our lotus is catching up to us a bit we were a bit readable especially on defense need to mix things up for the future so looking at icebox number one we're already awake we're not going to make that mistake again in a half and two we really worked on it this week we're going to show some different stuff and uh basically just hey the reasons we lost that aren't going to be reasons we lose this game they're just not in the picture for icebox and run it back absolutely well, i can't wait to see Thank good you luck much, man. yep 
You always know that Sentinels are going to be drilled and prepared no matter the map here. And we're going to be going over to Icebox. And, well, I, you know, Shazam, I, I've commentated a few of your games that went on a super long time before. Now now you got, you know, a situation where uh, this team is, is going to be, uh, both teams are going to be quite gassed. So this is going to be fascinating how this Icebox plays out. But do you still have faith in the send pickup here, the send 2-1 now potentially? Yeah, it's definitely still possible. Um, Obviously, Osboss is going to be a big factor here, too. Uh, yeah. But it is exhausting. You like, think? <laughs> a match like that is very, very exhausting. You just got to take some time to reset and like focus on your game plan for Icebox. Make sure people remember things, because their minds probably just jumbled up from those crazy rounds. Yeah. It was also interesting to hear Kaplan say, like, we just played without a half. We, we apparently they just didn't care about the first half. They were lethargic. They were whatever. And I think a lot of those mental mistakes really showed themselves. But you're right now that you've gone through a, a, yeah. a literal marathon. Uh, that, how, how long is that game? An hour and it a half? It was an hour and a half. That's that's absurd. Yeah. There are movies that are that long. Yeah. yeah. And, and, True. Bad movies, but yeah. Yeah. Bad movies. Good point. <laughs> uh, you have to reset. Right. Yeah. You have to like reground yourself. You've got to be able to get past some of that stuff. And I, I will say. I think there is a lot to be said about the story that Sentinels have had this year up until this point. It's been all about they play a lot of games, they play a lot of rounds, they play a lot of maps, and yeah. maybe that's the difference maker here, or maybe Aspas just Aspas is all over him again. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Gita's everywhere. Uh, well, there you can see uh, the lock in there for Sentinels to see though what we end up getting on the other side. But yeah, I mean overall, I think uh, you know Wyatt. I mean, this is an opportunity here for Leviathan to do something that no one gave him the time of day to do. 2-0 against the Madrid champs. Yeah, I gotta say, Kaplan sounded confident as hell he really in that did. interview. Like, that struck me. And I remember there was, uh, late in that game, Zelsus was really hyping the guys up. Like, they want this mentally. They're so in it. I still trust them to get this win. Uh, well, let's find out if we're going to get a third map, or can Leviathan close it out with a 2-0? to zero. Let's send it back over to Riven Van Silly. Thank you, Golden Boy, indeed. Kaplan did sound very confident going into this map number two. Yeah. And also, when you look at Leviathan's side, though, it seems as though Osboss woke up and said, today, I'm going to play Jet on Icebox and not Reyna and see how that's going to pan out against Sentinels. Yeah, I'm excited. A lot of times, you can make uh, kind of Icebox your playground. Yep. Now they play with a little more verticality. Leviathan may be able to really stretch that against the way they're playing Sentinels here because Sentinels retake. The way they play this map, how organized it is, we'll set it up when it happens. It is terrifying. You got blinds going high. You got blinds hitting the ceiling sometimes with the gecko. Yeah, they are throwing them to break your crosshair for multiple rounds. Ghosts across the board. We expect to get some big peaks out here. It's gonna be a quick cascade up. A lot of mid control by Sentinels as they want map control right away. It's a 3-2 split to start things off on the attack for Leviathan. John Tudy was pushing down, actually was a triple push down mid to stop that split. At least the plant will go down now for Mazino. First contact was second towards that green side, dashed away, and then is waiting for his teammates to move in together with him to retake the site. Right there. As Mazino's waiting, high tide now falls down. Two players greeting him from the snowman. Goes with another cascade, drop from above, still gets one before he falls. But it's up to King and Calm, made that only calm. Long range with Lev Classic. Turret, wingman, shot dart. Looking for the right clicks. Not gonna happen. Celsus has his own word with his own classic, and Sentinels win the pistol. Oh. Yeah, just looking at the way these retakes are happening, to kind of go over the comms here as we watch this replay. Looking at what Sentinels has to approach the site with is multiple flashes wherever they want to use them. And for Sentinels' side, Imagine feeling the fact and comfort that you don't have to deal with any flashes from Leviathan. Everything you throw is going to be breaking their crosshair. And really, the only thing that you're going to get back is a drone and a dart that you have to break to deny vision through the harbor wall and the viper wall. So Sentinels is just going to pour that flash utility onto Lev each time. Let's see what they have for defense. It's up to Lev to break those defensive lines. Spike down for the second one as they just do a little walking around to gain info. And that's a good shot to start them off. Not a gun they can grab, but a good start nonetheless. And Zekin answering back with the Guardian as his teammate yeah. fell down, throwing to Dizzy for info. Well, at least they took down some heavy firepower with Ospots falling, but Comwell be able to salvage that Sheriff and they'll work together now this whole time on this A side. 
Texas waiting with this turret to see if there's any aggression coming out from Sentinels. Nothing there. They cross freely. I mean, they cross even not using any type of util on that side, just gambling yeah. it for Leviathan. And thankfully, nobody was watching that cross. So they have a chance to walk together now towards the A site. Slowly moving in. Good contact play. Actually, not even giving up any of this dart info so they can use it for when Sentinels wants to crush back in. And now we'll see. Sentinels goes for a protocol retake. They usually leave tens towards screen, and three will walk up towards the ramp so they can get a high entry back into the site here. Tom gets a lot of information from his position. Here's the footsteps on the rotate, trying to find the angle with the sheriff. There's that first shot. A lucky Sheriff so far to get a third kill in the round Beautiful. with it. The first kill being Ospos with that Sheriff. Now John Cutie's alone. Chance for Leviathan to get an eco. As he swings out the crossbar setup, King gets the yeah. backstab and a thrifty comes out from Leviathan. Lev, a big first one. A big actually kill by Ospos there. The Gecko is one of the biggest factors for the retake on Sentinel's take. The Dizzy going up over the backside kind of blinds everything towards that backside, meaning yeah. Tens can knife towards pipes, and they have all the info. That kill by Ospos actually really affected the retake protocol on the side of Sentinel's. And they continue what they were doing here on Lotus, pushing forward towards the screens, up tower behind Dice. Not giving a chance here for Sentinels to set up yeah. with those flood retakes. But again, Sentinels with this round only have tens with a Sheriff. They did try to go for some aggression, some information down towards middle to start things off. No opposition, so they gamble for a stack towards the A site. Turret being the first point of contact. Wall following up to Decay, and hopefully they'll get some pop shots for some trades. Due diligence out from Leviathan, though. Owl Drone clearing out the way. High Tide also pushes Sentinels back, so it's only Zelsus alone in the site. There is that Dizzy, there's the protocol. The shots are at least not too bad. A wall banger dropped the spike. And there is that real delay. Ospos pushing forward. And they're looking for a 3 2 1 swing. And great job here from Ospos to isolate those pushes. Oh. What? <laughs> Calm was there for the support, at least for Ospas, but not right ready here. for that shot from Tense. Absolutely. On point. This audio shot, really. As they play there. cat and mouse on either side of this wall, just waiting to peek each other. Suppress. They may be able to get a few weapons out here if they can One run suppressed. in and keep Lev in range but they're just looking to go down to the spike on this one. Yeah. So another one by Lev, expected round. They keep three alive on this with an A play as they force the back of the site, and we get a little bit of an idea on how powerful these flashes actually are when Sen can combine them together. <laughs> it's like, I will shoot you before you come in. And all back site too. Back left were all those frags on Sentinels. And my arrows. So let's see how Lev sets up coming into this round. Reckoning for Mazzino to throw out. And yeah, nice. It's a good identification that Lev have to push out. forward. I think if Sentinels even get onto that rafter, boop, uh, it's, it becomes so day. much harder as they start pouring into the site. So Lev's saying, no, stay outside the site. Just getting through the first door is going to cost you a lot of your utility. And you can see how brutal it is right now for Sentinels to lose Placing that thrifty yeah. against Leviathan, right? They have to go with hash shield bides if they lose this round here. Out. They have to go back into an eco or a half by. Meanwhile, Ooh. here on the other end for Leviathan, they could start adding a little bit more ults here behind this Reckoning, forming plants, forming orbs. Yeah. And this protocol that they currently have on how they hit towards the site. So far, they have an opportunity to have continuous free plants here towards A. They get themselves in. Pretty easy to boot. We're going to have the full nice team of Sen to get back on this one. Reckoning just after to prevent that. So delaying a little bit more time. Extra nice there. And Sentinels are going to set up 3-2 split. Yeah. And Comps just ready for a recon dart too as they try to engage and enter for Sentinels. But there is that oh nice Dizzy and Flash coming in. Second and 10, swarming back in the sight. Tex is now alone. Nanoswarm to try to delay. He's up by Pipes. He's yeah. spotted by Sassy and Pipes. 
And Wingman will get the assist for the Diffuse. And Sentinels, we talked about how it would have been a very difficult round should they lose this one here. Yep. They managed to come out with only one player losing their lives. And why, the Sentinels will do that retake every time Matt's at A. And the setup, if it may not change, it might change this time. They're usually keeping Tens and Saucy together so they can continuously delay with Initiator Utility and then retake with Initiator Utility. And they made it look so easy here. Nice retake. Nice retake. Yeah. Nice patience. Yeah, 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 nice retake. We just slaughtered him. It's cool. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, the defuse there. A little extra money, but still a little bit of low armor on that. As a few members did go down, but yeah. They're much more comfortable pushing up. Lev denying this orb control every time, but they haven't had to deal with pipes Three just yet. Rest. Good info from Ten's knife. And great deniability, too, from hitting that knife, because Calm cannot get a ping mm -hmm. with the Hunter's Fury combination. And that's also going to slow down the pacing from Leviathan. Will he choose to fall back or re-hit the sign in? Seems right to there. be the latter here, is already the spikes moving forward. That's Mazino, the one carrying on his back. Cascade now blocking out the sights of Sentinels seeing any cross over. And it's a pot for long, so they can use the Hunter's Fury. That's why Kong's staying all the way back now yep. on the pole flat. <laughs> Last resort. And this is difficult now because Sentinels cannot really flank across, so they have yeah. to start moving quick now in the site. And not enough coverage on that wall. Aspas no couldn't go forward, so they're forced to now wait for the retake. Calm, delay. Kind of an up the gut Hunter's Fury to delay that entrance into the site, but doesn't stop Sen. That's going to be difficult now because there's that double flash and everybody's getting picked off. There's some delays happening. Up draft, Aspas trying to fall back. They're getting denied for the defuse at halfway. Now second has to stick and more util coming through. Aspas trying out. to stay alive. Tex gets the pick with the second one. Drop oh, shooting himself some snake. Make that only the IGL, but there's no time Ooh. left. That's what they needed to do there for Sentinels to move a little bit more quickly. If not, they were greeted by all of that util to delay. Yeah, and you see how far back the kills were. Yes, two went down in sight from Leviathan because you need a little bit of that in sight delay. But then everybody backed up so far in maze by pipes. Very hard to get affected by any of the flashes Sentinels is using to retake at that distance. And they just post plant it up. Text with the ice cold look there. Ice cold. Might be even frozen. Uh, three. I mean, it is my two. Spots. It is. It is indeed. Second with the ultimate up onto yellow. And they do. Sentinel starts to rotate into this default defense where everything on A is meant to delay. A lot of safety from the defense at B. Zekin can get out. They can reset. It's up to Lev now. Just identify that this is the way that Sen wants to play. And it. it completely goes to a retake. So Leviathan's goal to getting a lot of rounds on Lotus was to dismantle a few members of Sen first and look how safe they're playing. How easy it's to get a first blood here before you're even planting. It is not. And it's simple here for Sentinels. The default that they have on a 1-1-3. One, one, first contact will be Zekin on top of yellow, always taking this spot. They have an alarm bot watching kitchen in mid so they could focus a lot of those defensive players out yeah. towards the A sign at that minute mark. We're hitting the mid-round point. You're seeing the pivot from the spike carry moving outside towards A. So they have the perfect numbers at least to try to fight back in a beautiful first blood to start things off on that mid lurk. So King falls. Cascade now. Engagement initiation out of Leviathan. A one for one as Aspas creates the space. Nice headshot there onto John Cutie. Back on the top of the A tower. Left. Tens, Zekin and Zelsis looking to retake, and Zekin was still a little bit too far away, waiting for the confirmation of the spike getting planted. Mazino trying to push forward to fight. You hear the null command coming out from Tens. Flashes, players are low, and players are falling down for Sentinels. And Zelsis is low HP. Can he get out? He will with the high tide yeah. up now. Okay. The round will come in for Leviathan as they have a nice anchor hold, a nice post plant. Mm hmm. And once again, it's that forward position, and Hotspots is the one. You mentioned it, playground for him, just running around that A site. He really is. Adjusting, too. Uh, the other round, in the mistake of the harbor wall, he actually made sure he could still get up by dashing forward past 410, up onto Nest, and then to 410 to play it. And this one as well, uh, another stall out that Leviathan was able to get a kill. The one kill on John Cutie there that we saw Aspas get denies the retake wall. They can't put, Sen can't put anything up to play against Lev, who is back by pipes actually in that exact spot. 
But what a way to start off the round. And then not being able to convert the 5v4. The Viaton is just stealing away these rounds that send starting with a first blood on. Blades off. Dueling Blade Storms if we get it. We saw Zekin on yellow last time not able to activate it there. Actually gets a buy for someone else this round too. And actually they will pause it. A little, a little call there before the round starts. This end wants the timeout. Drew and Kaplan can get a bit in their ear and figure out what's going on with the way they're retaking. Because that was one of the retakes where they had everyone ready. But this Lev push forward still, I, the W key is on cruise control for them right now at some points. And Sen's not expecting it. No. And the way that they're pushing here and scaling towards the A side for Leviathan. Cascade, push tens away. They'll play the retake. And the retake really is not working out. Yeah. Four Sentinels when they're losing players in the process before they could actually even activate and engage now. And that is an active Kaplan right now. Which is potentially why we had such a late yeah. timeout call. Lee. For sure. Probably has figured something out here on the read of how Leviathan scaling up towards this A site. And maybe the play, because they have a much lower buy. You saw it just before we got into the timeout, the Blade Storm you mentioned here, Riv, but yeah. only a stinger for John Cutie. Half shields once again. Economy continue to be very, very low for Sentinels as it might be a play for them to maybe even disrespect. The walls are coming out from Leviathan too. And B round was only tempted on pistol here by Lev. They continue to go towards the right grenade. side. The Thrifty within this second map really putting a wrench in what Sentinel's momentum could have been. Agreed. And Leviathan are working off that very happily. Push up. Double flank watch here, actually. And they have thrown the wall up on B just as a bit of distraction, keeping Zekin looking there from yellow. And you still have pretty decent utility for Sentinels right now to delay towards the A side because the pit was available for King here. Mm -hmm. There was a way he could have moved up and to do that type of pit for Jail. And instead, King is moving back with Tex and trying to rework the map. Both of them moving up towards two. Sassy is the one waiting now as a turret on Boiler spots one player trying to cross over. They have a time now regrouping to go for another five player hit towards the A-site. Slow orb. Sentinels in the same mirrored positions as before. I should say the same positions, rather. And they are ready with util. Interesting spot for Tens there. Could get caught out in a second, but it looks like he's playing safe knowing the wall's coming up. And a knife actually did delay, so no snake bites to be thrown towards screens. Tens gets the opener on Takam. But again, Aspas, he's the one pushing. disrespecting his old walls, pushing towards his spawn, Ooh. dashes away after he lands the headshot in a yeah. third there on the Zelsus. He could go wherever he wants to go here. That's an incredible round to watch, especially as Aspas comes around and takes down tens, because that's ten saying, okay, somebody wants 410. I've done that play, I know that play, but Aspas is already thinking ahead, still on that push. It was John Cutie last time, tens this time. And it's just not being communicated that they are hitting A so fast. Zekin will pick one up. Stinger in hand, so looking to stay close and grab a gun at the end of this one as the spike kind of zooms back in, but I don't know if we'll have the distance to cover. It looks like they save and spawn. Yeah. He's going. He's waiting. Not going to make it. All right. We'll see what they have on these replays. Uh, I'm going to send him to the graveyard if you can. <laughs> oh! Good job, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna send him to the graveyard and did 3k. 3k. If you keep digging, that hole's 18 feet deep. <laughs> All right, we're into this one. 2 1 2 across the map, back to this default setup, but Lev still looking at A. They venture into mid last round to give Sen, Sen something else to think about, but again, orb control here. Sen can't farm. Leviathan take space up to pipes. The small change though is that Saucy moved over towards the A side with Zekin. Yeah. So maybe they do want to try to start fighting back with counter util. But he's leaning out, jiggling out towards the screens, just got spotted by Ospas, forced to fall back. And that pivot and that change in terms of the positioning here might give Leviathan an idea that they might not have the Viper over there to help out with them on the defense for Sentinels. Owl Jolin to try to clear out some space, but actually. Tens is still able to hold the top of the A tower because it didn't spot him. Leviathan are deciding to fall back, leaving a the spike. They're going into a 2-1-2 default mm -hmm. with a minute left, so expect a last-second late plant. 
Need some hero plays to come out here get with the final way. seconds of the round. It's messing with Util, trying to get Sentinels dislodged from their current positions. And with that spike down, it's going to be another full W towards A here. Lev have done such a good job of rotating out the sights. Remember, still decently comfortable for Sentinels to leave them open. Left because the info would come from the back of the site anyways here as Lev hit. So this is al almost normal yep. coming in here. Just a little bit more time, Sen has to rotate. Took a minute, 10 seconds. Right now for Leviathan to finish where they started. Same type of util coming out for Plants. Planet now at Jenny and on towards the A Tower for long range position in a fight here from Bels, but the same thing happens. Reckoning was at the ready. Aspas on the top of the screen, drops tens. As that gets a timing for Saucy to push out, though, to get two of his own. Zen, Zekin now pushing forward. Calm now picked off by Saucy as they pin across. Texas solo. Yeah. Nice round in the end. Zekin wins that fight. Wingman with another assist. The Sentinels a much needed third wingman. round finally on, scores one. Look how much farther forward everyone's playing now. Aspas only getting a few of those kill results in, and then the flashes that Sen have been trying to use all connect on the way back in. Getting everybody to look a different way. Like you said, those windows just opening for the peaks here. Second pushes through. And you definitely saw it there from how Aspas fell. There was some sort of protocol to actually have Mazino try to watch towards heaven, but right. that last split second where he was in there quick enough, they both pay with their lives and also lose the round in that process. All right. We have been conditioned, even as watchers, to think it's going A again. But it's not. It's going to be B. And Sentinels look like they're actually reading this very quick. This is the first bit of wall and aggression they've really seen towards B since round one. The spike's still going towards A, though. Turret holds what would have been a push, and they have not seen Sen push. So while being careful about this, this is all safe space as the rotation comes back. That's the thing. They have to be careful because at the beginning of the round, Tex got hit by a knife. So Leviathan, they have to re-clear, right but they're actually re-clearing with contact. Com does not have the Aldron to work with. So they're just walking up. And for Sentinels, it seems like you only see one player anchoring towards the A-side. It's Zelsis. Yes, the alarm bar gets picked, but the idea is for him to stay back so that they can potentially once again do the lockdown play that they're good for. She uses it right away. Oh, Akma somehow dashed up, but it gets traded out. Mazino is trying to run across towards the high time to stop the lockdown. Will be able to do so and also kill John Cutie. Mazino stepping up. Absolutely should have been prevented by Sentinels on this round. All three members are back. He's just on a mission right now. 18 HP. He's going to stay in the fight. Give it all he can as the team goes for the post plant again. Right How crazy is that? That they're able to run through high tides with no flashes on the attack for Leviathan, yet still getting these picks. The positioning that they're gaining in the early part of the map, I, I, I think is one, obviously helping left. But Sen is suffering from how far they're playing outside sight. If you're going to have two people at your screens every time you are approaching again, you're not going to be able to do much. And that is exactly what Lev did. I mean, it was only Aspas last time, but he said, Mizzino, come on through. <laughs> and finally gets that heaven control, finally gets a little more firepower in that situation. And the protocol Sen used to take the sight back one round after the other against 100 Thieves is being stopped in its tracks before they get the flashes out yeah. from defensive side. And going into this game too, Sentinels pretty much was one of the best teams tied oh up here gosh. with energy right now yeah. in the Americas in terms of retake successful percentage wins here on those retakes for Sentinels and it's being denied so far. And already a second timeout being called out by Coach yeah. Kaplan. And they have to figure out something quickly here. As they play the defense and calling both timeouts right away, it seems that they might trust their attack at this point. So they have to salvage at least as much as they can in the last three. All right, so where's the, it's map control at this point. Where does that map control come from if your retake isn't feeling comfortable? We think extremities. You think a little bit of mid control, knowing that they can't mess with alarm bot. But it seems Lev is playing like they did on Lotus, far back. You peek mid, you're probably going to get two Lev members. You peek B, they're probably waiting there as well. So it's hard for Sentinels to also peek. So many questions as Captain gets in their ear again to try and orchestrate a way for Sen's protocols to get back into action.
And as you were mentioning how they're playing so far back and waiting for their team to meet up here towards the spawn, maybe yeah. they just got to start adding some players on flanks too, right? Sometimes it's just Zelsus watching that cross, and there's really only one or two players staying behind here for Leviathan. Yeah. So try to at least isolate those players playing the pulse plant. Long range right for Leviathan and close in from both extremities after. And it's been a very slow alt game. Yes. We have not seen rounds being swung here and there. The lockdowns are really making the most impact because they're the loudest and biggest on the screen, but just That's not it. really swaying the gameplay. I think there's like what, two ults that came out from Sentinel so far from yeah. that lockdown and a blade storm. Even on the other end, though, two reckonings from Leviathan to one Hunter's Fury, but mm -hmm. blade storm from, uh, from Ospos, of course. But in the end, it's just some really nice fundamental protocol plays from Leviathan on capitalizing and closing in on these rounds on how they're just easily executing behind all these walls that are being thrown out by Mazzino. Backstab? No. Turret for turret up here. Window fight. Oh Tex will get spotted by the turret if it continues to walk forward. And this is okay here. John Kitty is just running around and it's exactly. okay. He's trying to bait that out, right? He's walking back already. There is that plant coming through. Ospaz somehow gets the pick up to Zekin towards that B site. He hears two, three players rotate out towards Kitchen, and he doesn't care about the turret. Swings before, they don't check it, he gets that first pick. And there's that fight against Celsus very soon, who wins it? Mazina now inside the site. Three versus three, and the other two players of Leviathan are playing long range. Inside the site has fallen. Now long range is Ospos. Hit by a fragment, double swing after. Beautiful protocols there on that swing. Up to calm. One Shock Dart available. There's that first pick. Shock Dart and after, but gets picked off right away by Tens, who scores three in the round and allows Sentinels to get the fourth. And despite that, the scoreline of four to six, we were mentioning how Leviton were doing so good on how they're playing their yep. executions on the site, yet Sentinels are still able to get these four rounds. Yeah, sneaking some rounds in when you're least expecting it. It's the defuses. That's why. Because yep. they've gone on so long. Lev did take the site on those rounds and get to the post plant, and it it kind of took a lot of the members of Sentinels to get it back. But now they start to get a bit of a flow, more economy under their belt, and this means they can start to make those moves, decisions where they might want to push up for one and fight for that orb. At this point, still two rounds down, not as much. But with ultimates on board here, Null Command and that KO ult and Thrash for Gecko, yeah. you can make a lot more choices as you're getting back in. It's actually crazy that 10 rounds were played and nine of them were defuses and yeah. spikes going on. So we're definitely yeah. playing the long game now for both of these teams. First contact you this time run. around, Zekin was trying not to allow yep. Leviathan to get a plant. Couldn't get a pick and now you have a chance to get a lockdown Vortex. This should be a pretty clean round to set up. They're gonna go ahead and actually block off towards spawn. So once they get these smokes down, the Viper Wall up, you're gonna see the Sova Dart go past after they get rid of this Thrash. Oh, the Sova's the Sova, though. So that's calm with the spike. That's gonna delay even more, allowing the fight to happen here. Sentinel's trying to fight back all the way from the spawn. All the ults are down. Celsius, Labor up against that pick there onto King. Plant finally coming down until Tex is trying to fight back. Calm now, solo after the plant, wondering where his teammates were, they all fell. And Sentinels end up having a clean fight on the base site, despite the amount of util and ults that were being thrown at them from Leviathan. What a return on that thrash use, too. Like you mentioned, getting the spike, that threw everything in Leviathan's strategy for a loop here. Then they're happy enough to see a few members trying to get that upper hand peak. Right there, goes down, Tex falls, and they are just pinched. Sentinels. Kaplan confidence coming through here. Took two of the timeouts, but it looks like they could give us a six to six first half after suffering quite a bit in the middle of this first one. You're right. Economy's low this time around for yeah. Leviton. Yeah, they still have rifles, but two of them at small shields. Slight hope now for Sentinels to tie it up to a six six in Leviton. Going back to the tried and true. This time a cascade of blocking pipes to give Ospas position in that area. Maybe even a dash on top of the screens will get delayed after that knife that was thrown by Tens. And finally, we get him going back to A. Those two rounds may be in their own head after the Kaplan timeout, but no, Lev go back to A where it was working. Defensive pin, a spray. <laughs> it works out at least for a one for one, and thankfully, it was Saucy that fell and not John Cutie. So the pit is still up, yet the plant still comes down on the A site for the A tower as Leviathan are playing outside of the site now. Two mollies, two shock darts, Hunter's Fury. This is all but secured here by Lev, right? 
That's the question. I mean, with the Hunter's Fury, you have to expect. There is that tap. Wall comes up. He's going to try to get it halfway. And then it contacts. Karm gets the kill. Tex fights onto Zelsa's John Cuties alone. Sticking on that spike again. Dropping down. Here's the shots. Trying to get the spray across, but should be all. Yeah. Now Spotty here running inside. Mazina closes the gap. Closes the round. And allows Leviathan to end the half 7 of 5. Lev Switching are playing with such momentum today. And while no Sentinels are able to find the, the, the corrections in the things that are plaguing them, this is definitely a Sentinels that is not playing up to their level at this point. And Leviathan is taking advantage of that 100% as they should. Finding all the holes, the cracks, and being able to put Send down 7-5 on that first half. But now, it's up to Sentinels. Well, now let's throw it down to Golden Boy, who's on the stage with a member of our audience. Thank you so much, fellas. I'm joined by Sebastian. And the reason why I have Sebastian up here is because it's his birthday, y'all. So I thought we'd do a really fun thing. And with the help of my friends, we'll go ahead and sing a little happy birthday for you, my friend. So here we go. His name is Sebastian. Make sure you get it right. Three, two, one. Happy birthday. To you. Look at him taking it all in. Happy birthday. Look at him taking it all in. To you. The adoration. Happy birthday, dear Sebastian. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. you. Now some emotion free stuff. What, what do you what do you want for your birthday? A Sentinel jersey! He wants a Sentinel jersey! Holy crap! That, I think that's very doable. Yeah. We'll go ahead and make that happen. We got we'll some free stuff. You have that. That's yours. We got some free stuff. Do you want to throw some stuff to the crowd? Yeah. It's your birthday. Yeah. There you go. You only get this if you come to VCT Wait, America. Wait, fun, right? Yes. <laughs> I got stuck here. <laughs> Open up your hands. It's stuck. I don't know what was more fun. <laughs> Singing the birthdays of this series so far. I mean, we're in for a treat. We had a great time. We have a great time so far here in the Riot Games Arena. And this is some of the things you might be missing out here if you're watching from home. Yeah, yeah. But at least you're not missing out on some good action now. Happy birthday, Sebastian. Happy. Let's move back in the game. 7-5 scoreline for Leviathan. Again, a lead so far in this second half. Their map pick on Icebox looks really good here on the attack. We'll see if they can do the same thing now on the defense, though. As Sentinels, we talked about the confidence that Kaplan was yeah. missing yeah. during that overtime. And they're moving quick here for some early control on the A side yeah. until that nice spot's on spot who misses those shots. Trying to go up for a frag. We'll see how this pistol round works out. Might have been wanting a happy birthday for a Sentinels win if Lev gets this pistol round. They push towards B. Sentinels are going to have power in numbers here with just a bit of a flank watch, a little bit of a lurk from Zelsis. It's going to be quite late. I wonder if they just head back here. They're still pretty far from being pushed up as they're held back by this one way. And three members of Lev just on the other side. Yeah, knowledge of two controllers here. Let's, let's go to the other site where there aren't as many walls. <laughs> <laughs> They'll just have to deal with the Viper placement from the beginning of the round. Yeah, this is the difficult part, though, because the turret was watching mid the whole time. So really, they're walking into the unknown back towards the A site. Contact, trade, fundies to try to move forward. Haas boss is still there. Recon dart, though, that's going to give out their position. Yet, they don't really want to accelerate yet. 30 seconds left. Ooh. You're going to hear Harbor running out. Uh, with that drop, though, Osboss is going to get ready. Dash available, picks it up, down to 10 HP and falls down. Sight is now open, unless there's some deniability Justice. here. Shark Dart's available for Calm. Gets the first one out, Sassy with the Wingman Plant, and we'll get it. Five versus five here. Osboss is low on HP, so is 10s. All of them playing just around that spike for Sentinels. Yeah, as they want to play in front of those walls that are thrown by Messina. There's the attempt of a retake for Leviathan. Denied by Sentinels so far. Oh, alone and last to fall. 
Sentinels win the pistol. Second just racking right now. Pushes towards spawn. Knows the team would be behind for the trades, but that's not necessary. Zekin and Aspas are about to duke it out. 14 and 8 to 14 and 10 across the top of your scoreboard. And it's about to be Jets online. <laughs> I got your back through the smoke, don't worry. Just <laughs> blind fire in the classic as Zent in second on the front line, hitting all the shots. All right, Guardians out. Vandal as well for Zelsus Bulldog. They're just looking to make these shots count and expecting a bit of that early push from the side of Lev. Not wrong. <laughs> the knife's going to slow Lev down, though, as they try to move up for that orb area. Yeah. Definitely seems on that end for Leviathan. Because they're playing with this composition, they could move in a little bit more freely to farm these orbs on oh. the A side and all pivoting now. Man's floating. Man's floating. He's playing jet after all. <laughs> There's the activation of the dash. Trying to land some shots. No body damage, no headshots. He falls back. King is still there towards yellow, but as I've mentioned, that orb that was picked up, everybody then for Leviathan leaning towards his B side, stacking on that side. Sen have a perfect read in the mid round to pivot back towards A. Be able to go four forward, five forward maybe? Yeah, I don't know if they leave anybody behind here. Quick take into sight, pushed by Lev, and they'll have a little bit of timing, but nope. Zelsus is already getting ready to uh, look for the flank. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of feet. He's going to only look for a little bit more. And John Cutie's going to hear all this ruckus going back down mid right now and call that. Yeah, pipes, boiler, and you see from Leviathan, <laughs> all of them holding that angle. Doesn't want to get sprayed, don't no. want to get spammed. This is going to be an attempt of a clean death, I guess, from Leviathan at this yeah. point when the spike's going to go off. Just five on the spike. You don't want to give it to Saucy, right? So Saucy's already halfway, more than halfway, to be able to get the thrash early in the round. Already, so Sentinels, a little bit of trouble there to start off the first half. Second half feeling very good, and the macro they're using here to get around the Viaton is just leaving them in the dust just about every time. You might have one member at the site Sentinels is going to right now because of the way they're controlling the info and the macro on the map. Their macro, I should say, around the map. Let's see what Lev's setup is going to be here as we get into round 15. A little bit of Killjoy utility towards A. Still trying to leave Ospos towards B so you can get somewhat of an early pick, dash away, and get Ospos going. Let's fly. Zekin and Ospos actually held to their 14 these last round. Let's see if they can get themselves into the action here. Tens is on a stinger as they're going for this bonus. But that's never really stopped them before. Good damage on Takam to start. And they pretty much put all their eggs in one basket here for A with the turret watching behind. Let, or Sen want this. Nice shot by Zekin on the top of the Viper while Mazina falls. So double flash to allow Sentinels to get a blind pick. And also a plant coming out from the wingman at the same spot. Trying to engage, pushing outside the balcony. Another oh. nice flash. Double kill from both Saucy and Tens. This becomes a nice little bonus round for Sentinels. Spike planted. Meanwhile, the last two players of Leviathan falling back. This should be free upgrades should Sentinels choose to pick up those weapons in the end. And a different way to approach here on for Sentinels, but it still becomes really clean on how they're really storming the A site. Yeah. They get in effectively. A lot of times you'll see where Gecko and, uh, not Gecko, Saucy and Tens are throwing that flash. Goes right around this area in the back. It kind of lands just up towards top A, towards the site. We actually kill Joy Molly right there right now. And where the flashes land, it allows Gecko for the pickup. Is Lev just getting a few more in here. But the flash is in sight. Pretty much mean Lev have to play outside of it. It's that tough. And they have no flashes again to get back, to rebuttal. They don't even have an Omen Paranoia, right? As you wouldn't, but very hard to play against that. And Sentinels, again, has to feel so good. Just imagine going into a site, knowing you can peek every angle, and the only thing you'll effectively see is another person. Just drop and flash. They're even flash for no team. There's so many flashes. And how confident they are, too, that even <laughs> exactly. if they're blinded, the other ones will move forward. And it's no be worries. The second layer, really, to hold that pulse plan. And again, if they're losing players in the process, they still have 
you tilt to delay yeah. spike the views, right? So it's actually pretty good what Sentinels has for this composition so far as they take the lead in the second map. Leviathan though, and a quasi buy around the two rifles that they save. I mentioned that thrash that was available for Saucy. Clear out towards yellow, but not really towards the back of the site yet. Yeah. And look at that. Go out, protect the Thrash. Thrash will be picked up, used again here in a little bit. This is going to put a, quite a bit of focus for them onto yellow. If they can't disperse before the retake comes in, this could be a problem. Singer kill though from the top. Inside the tubes does get the pick onto Zekin. Owl drone from Calm does spot tens. Snake bite to try to keep them at bay. They're going to push him out here. And it's a snake bite, shock dart combo. But does not land any shots. Meanwhile, it pushed them back towards the high time that was thrown up by Mazina, though. There comes that tap on that spike, the second crash, but there's the push for it from King. Sticker, though, runs out of bullets. Nobody on that spike yet. Calm's trying to stick it. Celsus does get the pick, and then Tex answers back. Now it's halfway. There's only one player left. It's John Cutie trying to stay alive, but they're swarming them against him. He falls to get the defuse, and Leviathan tie up the game. Lev coming in with some of the walls. That first early kill coming in was so big. And the rest of Sentinels, like I said, had to scatter from yellow. Having that position meant they weren't ready to come at, uh, uh, at most of the util that was getting thrown in. And really nice clear on yellow by the shock darts and the mollies to make it impossible for uh, Sentinels to play in sight. The amount of kills that both of these teams are getting just above the that sniper wall. Yeah. It happens a lot on Icebox and B, too. If you're at Snowman in the back, you can yeah. peek over the yellow railing. So many little trick shots he can hit. Ooh, Icebox fighting nice. against Celsius, pushing Ooh. forward with a second kill. Celsius. No trade opportunities, but Mazino is trying to do the same and try to avenge his fallen comrades. But unfortunately, it's Sentinels pulling back and instantly rotating towards B. So interesting that Sentinels call that make the play to all on Zelsa's shoulders. Now they go for the B plant. They're going to meet a little bit of util delay here, but it shouldn't be anything they can't get through. Oh, oh King just spawned one person towards yellow. Uber delay here. Yeah, they're, they're taking their time, though, waiting for gas to come back up. Yeah, exactly. Alarm bot's still there, too. Right at the feet Boys from Tex. King control snake bites long range. Once the alarm bot goes off. Unfortunately, though, because of a knife. Can't really sound the alarm, so it allows here Sentinels to run around this beast site and drop the players of Leviathan. I think that orb going up in the alarm bot too allowed him to sneak by a little bit. And did not activate as Tens was pushing forward there. Zekin on one uh, orb. Tens on one orb. They will have their ultimates in. Those are incredibly powerful to hit the site. Nice little crosshair movement there by Zelsis. And yeah, they used the confidence in those takes, right? You have tens pushing forward now. Like I said, there's a little bit more money in Sentinel's pocket so they can make those plays. They can push forward and be aggressive without having to worry that they're losing that weapon in hand. Yeah. Still going some low armor, armor too around uh, around the board with enough money to buy each other here. So that'll be interesting to look at once we get back into the game on the scoreboard. 25 seconds left in this lab timeout. I mean, they still had a great opportunity to drop Zelsis at the beginning of that E push that they had. And right. Ospos just took a little bit to try yeah, to- Yeah, you can't miss that. Yeah. But when you've dropped 47 kills on the first match, <laughs> sometimes you gotta, you need a little bit from your teammates. What's to in the out tank? Of it. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any more scraping the bottom? He's still at 15 here on that second map, but on top of the yeah. scoreboard here for uh, Not almost the server. Yeah, he's almost tied up with Zekin currently now, who uh, is act actually Zekin at 16 rather, where he's actually popping off as this jet roll on Icebox. And now, as we come back from the timeout, it was called here by Leviathan. An op comes out for Ospos. Jeez. I didn't know we were that happy about an off by. Yeah, I guess so. It's, <laughs> that's, that is a heavy win condition, right? And it is only a win condition, I feel, if Lev can keep Sentinels out of the site. You're trying to retake against Sentinels with an operator where you're only getting simple angles, not simple angles, but quick angles, and then you got to get out. Sentinels is going to punish. They're, oh, they're going to swarm you as soon as they figure out where you are. So it has to be a stop before they get the site where Lev is going to have problems. And that's one thing that they're currently doing too, right? Because they don't, they're not really using that 
Dizzy to throw forward position. So this is a great opportunity for Aspas to play on the top of Jenny and watch that line. So Zelsis, there you go. First time to pull it out. Fake, fake news, fake news. Fake news! Zekin though, <laughs> answers back. The round will be won later on here as we have a four on four situation. KO all being thrown out now by Tense. And you do have only the Sheriff of Calm in the back of the side. Holy flash, punching forward. Osbus does get the pick on the Tense and somehow gets another one here. Whoa. Okay, so they didn't stop him at the front door. They just kind of before they got out the back door to the backyard. What was that? I mean, trying look at all those get, X's. Trying to get through the wall. They get absolutely shut down, and that just seems like what benefits Sentinels. Being able to pop flash through a wall, get in your opponent's face, and Leviathan just mow them down with a family photo on the other side of the wall. Maybe the right script knew something that we didn't. Yeah. Osboss gets the, the kill right here, round one. Yeah, exactly. He gets three, uh, two other ones, sorry, towards that B site. And yeah, we talked about Calm that only had that Sheriff on that B site. He also got a kill himself. What a great hold here by Ooh. Leviathan. But again, it took a couple of rounds to finally get our first op yeah. here on this map of Icebox, and they realize it now for Sentinels. This really might change their style of approach now on this map on the attack. And they're starting to get the lyrics going now. They're starting to get themselves on the map, pushed up mid. We were expecting this before. Zelsis is ready. For two again. Oh, rinse and repeat for Big. Zelsis. Give him two more. Big impact kills for Zelsis. Larnblad's close, but King will stay at the outside of that radius to call that rotate over, but it's all a ruse! They made all that noise to pull back in. All face Osboss to get this kill. That's how the op goes down in this? Good damage, good damage. And they won't go anywhere to pick it up yet. And they want to make sure here for Sentinels that get this round, you get the win, you get the lead. Bomb grenade out. <laughs> Now it's a round one. <laughs> Gun here. Is, uh, uh, oracles out here. <laughs> crazy stuff. See, Chad, you thought we had the script. <laughs> well, that's not you pressing the button? That's not me pressing the button. Pressing the button. <laughs> All right, round 20. Operator gone now as we watch Zelsis go to work again. Boop. Oh, I just imagine that peak and mid, and Zelsis is like, have you heard about the Zen bundle? <laughs> oh my gosh. You don't want it? You <laughs> <laughs> Sentinels in the lead now, 10 to 9. We talked about these ults. Now available for both teams. Ospas trying to really change the pace of the round on the other side of pipes. And here's these drops. Dash now activated. Pog Flash forces him to dash away. And that's a small win right now for Sentinels. Clearing the space to engage the lockdown. Hunter's Fury here. Do they decide? Do they just let it rip? He's backing up for yeah, it. Yeah, he's getting ready, but I don't think they have it now with everybody in position. They're just going for the retake. Deep dart. Hospos, okay to get tagged by this. Protection from the team. Oh. Lots of balls here. Looking cussing. And now Calm in the back of spawn. Hunter's Fury from the back. Pace oh, three! Get him. Lance two! And gets a third kill! Hat trick! Yes, a friendly fire in the process onto Aspas and to Mazzino. But he doesn't care. Three kills, Celsius full, second alone. Now at the generator against a full man squad of Leviathan. Man. That just feels like a, yep, they did what we thought they were going to do. So patiently played by Lev. Left. Lev was actually all on 410 and pipes and pushed up to Maze to start this round with ultimates from Sen in their face. Just a quick backpedal. Calm. Foolish me for thinking it was going to be a Hunter's Fury for the lockdown. No, 3K off of that alt. Yeah. That shuts Sentinels down big time. It was definitely the one at the front here, Aspas on the top of screens, being the one watching down, making sure that, hey, you don't need to use your lockdown yet. Nobody's pushing him across. Right. Save it for post plant denial or get the three kills that you just did towards Mains because of that reckoning also that was thrown out by Mazzino. Oh, second alone. Now at the generator. Yeah. Feeling it now, Coach Lapland. Kaplan. All right. Three at eight. A little bit of a skirt, one and one and mid and B here. Sentinels, they're on the W train this time, pushing straight forward, Vandals in hand. 
They don't really have to deal with too much rebuttal on the utility here. King with his ultimate and choose to put that down anywhere, but Lev is not in position. They're playing this one rather safe towards B in mid and just giving Aspas the chance to play the info game again. It's going to be a slow round now for Sentinels. Winning condition to work around the map. That pick is huge because that's going to pull rotates away, which allows John Cutie to potentially find a timing. Already towards yellow. Commons leaning across to find info himself. And he's covering yellow. Now gets caught, but still matches the flick back to get the kill. Potential double pump. Tens now making a lot of noise towards the A side. Throws a knife, actually hits potentially two. But one made it back alive. That was King actually not hit by the knife, which allows here. Sentinels to start moving forward. Okay. They have wingman delay. This is going to stop wingman. They're going to have to scatter again. Molly. Oh. <laughs> Little bro lives. Free plan. Now that pit that was actually gambled towards that A site from Tenzis knife. They don't have that to use for the retake for Leviathan. We'll come down to the trades. A double swing towards the spawn. It's a one for one. Still gets one. Calm trying to move back forward with his teammates. Recon dart towards the back. Flash will not do anything. Double pain. Throw inside the orb. Yeah, double pain to get the kill. Lockdown now available for the retake. Tenz has to find a timing. Oh, easy kill. Lockdown destroyed. And also fragment onto the spike. It's not even halfway. One enemy remaining. Tex gets picked off. One enemy and remaining. now King is alone, but now sticking onto it. It's close. Oh. But oh. Sentinels will still get the round. How scrappy these rounds are being put together with glue and gum right now as they are just going one way or the other at the last second. It's taken everything from these teams and Lev are gonna call the timeout. Incredible that Aspas was able to start with over 200 damage across Sentinels at the back there, not dropping one player though as the damage got distributed. Still have the strength to get through, get the sight. And wow, imagine if the Molly was activated earlier too. So many things in that round that are that can be played, but Sentinels winning the timing game. Or if the cape from Calm was in, wasn't being spotted there by Tens right. as he was trying <laughs> yeah. to defuse. No capes. <laughs> we know this. Because if not, the lockdown would have been destroyed. That would have been the cold there that there's actually a flank if they could fight in those moments. But that's in an alternate universe. This time around, it's a timeout from Leviathan and Sentinels did capitalize on the round previously. And the lead now 11 to 10. Back and forth, we continue to go here in this second map. We never let go of the pedal for both of these teams since yeah. the Lotus map. Zekin and Aspa still close and one away. 19 to 18 in frags. The operator comes back out, but a factor of 10s and Zelsis coming online in these recent rounds to frag it out have meant everything to Sentinels. 11 to 10 now. Do Sentinels take Leviathan's icebox here with Leviathan taking Sentinels Lotus? Incredible they stuff so far ready. from both teams as we start round 22. So Molly being thrown here towards Boiler to try to break the turret. You see that actually pulls Calm away to try to watch towards Boiler. So yeah, the turret will still be up to watch Kitchen. They'll give a chance here for Leviathan to read any type of lurks towards middle. But it might be a late Owl drone coming out from Calm to really clear out towards middle, and there you go, 114 yeah. on the clock. He'll see the turret, he'll see Zelsis. Really no changes coming out really from Sentinels because they've met that before. Have to keep guessing now for Leviathan. Gambling two players now towards middle as Sentinels decide to walk out towards this B site. And look, they're trying to just strengthen this mid party right now for the side of Leviathan, thinking there will absolutely be a fight or a trade. They back off. Getting enough time off the clock on that. And this just right back to default positions as they're starting to heal di here Dizzy and Util towards Long B. Sentinels is looking to work the whole map though and Lev's giving them nothing. As they're making more noise, Zelsis is trying to walk up That's towards the two. Push. The AWP is back in the hands of Aspas. Zelsis has made it through, left. but he's gonna hear this turret now, realizing that it wasn't on Boiler in the beginning. Yet Aspas still lands that Spike shot onto Saucy. A. 20 seconds left, so Sentinels have to start engaging now towards this A site. Zelsa is falling back at the same time, too, instead of going for a lurk play. His second is trying to create some space. Gets picked off by King. 10, 10 seconds, seconds left. Dinosaur mount delays. A shot won by 10s. 
and has no choice but to go for the stick, but they're closing in on him. He falls. Ooh. Celsus gets picked by Ospos, too. An incredible round for Leviathan on the hold, and an expensive round for Sentinels. Absolutely. Sentinels can't dislodge Lev. I mean, you had Ospos and King at a crossfire on A the whole time. They had three mid. They weren't really worried about B. You still have Ospos with the Operator coming in for the play here. And Sentinels can't find a way to make Lev worry about what's going on. They're still holding their spots. I think a really neat way Sentinels could start this off is if you have tens towards B long, sometimes with the turret in kitchen, which it's not anymore, you can molly that through the ceiling, get that first bit of utility out of there, and they'd be able to move the map here. It's not even a choice. Is the op still ready? But they play close. Oh, misses the shot hit by the Dizzy. An op draft in the air. It's a two for one. Ascends is still looking to get res and he'll get it. So back to a four on four. They've lost to Ospos, Comp pushing four, two kills into his name. With the third there, all watching it from the back of the site. I mean, there's four players of Leviathan holding from the right side generator. It was a Congo line pretty much for the defense and it's free pickings there against Sentinel's attempt to move in. It's up to John Cutie. I mean, he's won a 4K before. Yeah, nice shots coming out here from Kong. That's that's 12. That, yeah, at the same time as we come 12. back here, it looks like John Match Cutie got point. picked off. Match point for Leviathan. No weapon saved. In a, not the buy you want on match point. Coming to this game point, Sentinels has only lost three series this year. Loud, G2, and Gen G. Another one on the horizon from Leviathan now here in stage one. Pressure towards A just has not been working. And for Leviathan to make the choice to put that many members at A after it has been a back and forth from Sen, from site to site, a bit of mid control as well to boot. But they find none of that. The correct call there for round 23. Round 24, possibly let's game. Rotating to meet Sentinels now towards B, and it looks like they are there for the death ball. They have to move quick here. Hunter Fury is available, and the user right away to play Second. against Sassi, so he has to get out of it. Does get the pick. There's no refresh on the thrash, and on top of that, a ping. Mazino playing on the top of the B tower, yet Sentinels can't move in yet for a plant. Throws out a cascade. Tens is trying to go for a plant. Mazino trying to deny it. Running and gunning. Gets the pick. Denies the plant once again. King is trying to move forward. Three players left alive on both sides. They've disrupted it. Everything has to get be reset now. High tide slowing down the pace. 50 seconds left on the clock. Calm is still watching on that rotate, so they are weaker on the B site. Orb then comes up to delay even more. Being placed down by King. They're just waiting here on the attack side for that fuel to come back up, and it will. The walk across the orb. There's that first pick from King. Orb now coming down. Surprise kill on Tzelsis. Then off with the last pick. Leviathan. They fight back in the second week and defeat Sentinels. Two to zero. A breath, a sigh of relief from Lev, a cheer from the crowd, and an amazing outcome that no one expected. Leviathan coming to play today from Lotus OT, 19 to seven, to being able to take, take down Sen in regulation, 13, 11 here. And the Ospos second battle delivered, both <laughs> sitting at 21 frags in the end. But Ospos with six first bloods to seconds five. And the team just outright playing so well today. You can play to the A lot of those were actually on defensive side too. A watch there against the Sentinels. When Ospos had that off out on the A side, the Hunter's Fury that continued to be perfect here from Calm. The utility was great from map one to map two for Leviathan as you can definitely yeah. have those questions answered. How would they look here in week number two? Will they look like that all-star team that we know that Leviathan could bring here? We definitely do see a quick turnaround, 180 in this performance of this team in front of you right here. And this was a very scary Leviathan today. If we take stock of what happened from Sentinel side and really think about these maps, Lotus required a lot of clutches from Sentinels. It was scrappy, 3Ks, 4Ks, John Cutie having to come up multiple times. And what you want to see that from your players as you're a Sen fan, it doesn't bode well when you want to take control of the game. It felt reactive.
And then on Icebox, Leviathan was pushed, pressured. Sentinel started to come back into form, but it seemed like once Lev got the off, they were able to slow everything down, and that's exactly what Sentinels did not want. Yeah. Sentinels on their end, too. I mean, you heard what Capo was saying between both maps. They were, they started off a little bit slow, but also that, you know, they're starting to get figured out here on Lotus and yeah. maybe even figured out now on Icebox where these retake plays weren't really working for them in the end, right? Trying to fight back against those walls coming up. They had definitely, I mean, it's hard. The question was, or how can you stay on the top here now that you're actually at the top for Everybody's signals? Everybody's gunning for Everybody's you. gunning for you, for sure. <laughs> it's it, a definitely a tough one. It's crazy stuff. And, and looking at how Sentinels can now repair from this, I don't yeah. think anybody should be worried. No. Again, this is their fourth loss of the year that's not too bad and it's still leviathan and now they get to work off of this they get to see that yeah okay maybe we got a little complacent in some spots today didn't go as we thought how did the Viaton do it and they come back stronger right that's what losing gives you i mean it'll also and, uh, and a hope and a hope Hopium. exactly and if anything like that too you have you can't not mention Ospos's performance oh here on these two maps, right? <laughs> Maxing out international frags here, absolutely taking the spotlight for a moment and sometimes doing the own facilitating for himself, but absolutely the team behind him. King with the calls. Their mid-rounding on Lotus was disgusting. Yes, yes, and yes. Uh, the amount of times they actually had Sentinels out of position, well, Sentinels still wanting to play retake, it put their retake out of position, and we have not really seen that yet. Well, a big victory there for Leviathan again. Sentinel, so let's now send it to the floor where Geek Heavy is down at the stage for the Verizon post-match interview. Let's give it up for Leviathan one more time. Joining me right now, we have Mazzino. Uh, this was a phenomenal win. Uh, it's, been, it's been a while since Leviathan has won, and what a win against Masters Madrid champions. How do you feel? Uh, really good, obviously. Uh, it was a really hard fight, and uh, we give it our best, and we win. And we know now that from, the, from now on, we're gonna just win. I like that attitude. That is, that is quite the attitude to have now. So it's, I mean, like, you know, coming into to things, you know, we saw you all go up against a C9, um, not the best performance, uh, but I'm kind of curious, what caused this shift in performance for you and the team? Uh, it was just like a mentality thing, principle, uh, because we like, we're like lacking confidence a little on our game. And uh, now we just, play our game and it shows the difference. Yes, that's right. Now, my last question. Next match is up against NRG. Uh, last time you went up against them was last year. Uh, you and King were there. What are the confidence levels? What are the vibes? Uh, of course, after this win, our, the whole confidence levels are, la are high. Uh -huh. and we're going to keep doing our best and we're going to win against them. All right, well, you, you want to hear it. That's what you want to hear, everybody. Give it up for Leviathan one more time. We're going to take things over to the post show right after this. Welcome back, everyone. And yes, Leviathan walked away with a 2-0. You see, guys, we told you that's exactly what was going to happen. You had to believe us. <laughs> You had to believe it. Jokes aside, though, we're joined by my main man, the one, the, the one and only Com. First things first. That was an awesome Hunter's Fury. <laughs> How did it feel to get one of those off again? That was crazy. That, that has to be a world record. I did 560 damage with my ult there. They don't call me the goat of the ult. For Ooh, no the goat of the ult, Poppy. Mm -hmm. bueno. Dude, I remember I watched that, and I, I, I don't remember if I said it loud or not, but I thought, when was the last time we saw someone get three kills yeah. with, the, with that one ult? That's just insane. Yeah, I think it was him. Yeah, probably pretty sure it probably, probably was been. him. Yeah, probably <laughs> pretty sure it was him. All right, well, uh, before we start, I wanted to hand some stuff to you guys. Okay. We're going to play a little game, Com. Okay. All right, I got you covered. Here you go. Oh, That's for right. you guys. I would play, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm, no one cares about my opinion. Right. Oh, and also, I, okay, there we go. But so I, I'm going to participate. Give me two thumbs up. Yeah, I mean, two <laughs> thumbs up. I know, right? I imagine. All right, we're going to play a little game called Agree or Disagree. With the, you know, the things there, we're supposed to have a graphic or not, doesn't matter. In any case, there it is. Ah, oh, boom. Look at that. Production. Nailed it. Timing immaculate. All right. So, as I said before, I'm going to read a statement, and everyone is going to need to weigh in with that thumbs up, thumbs down. And what's going to be fun is this is about the matches tomorrow. Oh, okay. So, we get to have some fun. And you Sweet. get to chill and speculate. Be a little speculate Stanley. That's great. <laughs> All right. First question. MIBR will beat crew tomorrow. Agree or disagree? What have you been seeing in the streets? I'm gonna go. Either way I go, this is this is, this is just <laughs> screw for me. 
I'll go with agree because I think MIBR plays a really good uh, version of Valorant. Honestly. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that. What did you say, Sean? Oh, man. I'm going to go with agree too. I think that they've had a lot of time to prepare. Yeah. You know, they've been able to watch all the teams play. Yeah. And they should feel prepared. Okay. All right. You're saying agree as well? I mean, I, I almost like tore my rotator cuff snapping this thing up as soon as the question was asked. That's true. I did see it. I firmly believe in what MIBR are doing. Yeah. I think they're criminally underrated. I think the coaching staff that they have there together and the pieces they put together are going to be way, way, way better than people realize. And I know Kesnit's going to, you know, be Kesnit and do his thing, but I'm a big believer of MIBR. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, I agree. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, okay. Let's see another one. We have NRG is the scariest team in stage one. Agree Ooh. or disagree? That's actually a, that's a thonker. That's, that's a thonker right there. You got to use the brain. Those are, those are my old teammates, man. Yeah, yeah that's, that's rough. Those guys. Yeah, yeah you got to say, uh, you gotta speak bad about them. Or, or speak good about them. Uh, I'll speak good about them. We <laughs> what play them next week. They're the best team in the league right now. So we'll <laughs> Look at that. that. You just don't want to give them ammo. That's what it is. I respect that. Shazam? I might go with disagree. Ooh. They look really solid, but I think it's too early to say they're the scariest team. Okay. Um, I know Sun lost here, but I still think they're, like, you know, one of the biggest threats. And so it's just too early to say that. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. What about you, Doug? I'm going to agree because of what they can be. Oh, okay. I think... Ethan figures out IGLing. Demon One does his thing. You've got Crash. He's Marv just rolling back the years. He's playing far more aggressive. Uh, much like we saw in, the, in last week compared to how he had played like two years ago, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I think that's the NRG that is scary. And I think that the NRG that we saw, you know, maybe week one, or sorry, doing kickoff, eh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But I think they can be the scariest. And because of that, Thumbs up, baby. That's fair. That's fair. We're, you know, uh, just to kind of bring it to today's game, were you a little worried about, uh, you know, especially Sentinels having a hot run? Were you, like, concerned, like, oh, this is going to be a tough one today? Um, I would say coming into it, you know, like, they're the best team in the world, but also I know what it feels like to be at the top. So when you play in a certain way to beat these type of teams, yeah, it, it just feels great. And obviously, like, credit to them. They played an insane game. I mean, we went into, like, how many overtimes the first map? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I have nothing but, I have nothing but respect for yeah. all those guys. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Tom, I want to pick your brain because last weekend you put out a tweet mm -hmm. about your individual play yep. and how it felt like it was back to the beginning of the EG days. And those yeah. were those were dark days, right? Yeah. Those were rough days. Uh, two things. Number one, what was your mentality shift from last weekend going into this weekend? Was preparation different? And then additionally, was your play style different? Did you approach the game in a different way? Um... I would say in a little bit, like I wor I definitely worked way harder this week than I ever have, just like what happened in EG last year. And I think it's also like, whenever I go on that server, like I just wanna make sure all my, like even if I'm dropping like minus 20, I don't care. You know, I'm always gonna make sure my teammates feel the energy that I give, kind of be like the hype man of everyone. And I've taken on a new role of being like, kind of like the secondary man in the yeah. team. So it's like, I'm just making sure everyone has the energy to, you know, win out the rounds and, I mean, I have insane aimers. What can I say? Yeah, I mean, well, you know, Osbos did like break a record. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, let's do let's do one more. We got one more here. This is going to be a fun one. Three NA teams will be representing Americas in Shanghai. Agree or disagree? What are we considered? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, not um, a question. Not, <laughs> and, I mean, it would be... The classification should be, what What language are the walkouts done in? <laughs> if the walkouts are done yeah. in Spanish, then... What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? I mean, that's basically saying whether or not you're going to make it to Shanghai yeah, or it's not. Like, no, I'll go disagree. <laughs> 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 right. All right, what about you, Shazam? Um... Yeah, I might go with disagree too. Ah, because he's here. I may respect it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, loud is in that conversation uh, yeah, as I was well. Say loud as well. You um, know, so it, it, that's a toughie. That's a toughie. You got a strong region overall around here. So. We really do. We really do. Doug, yeah, Dugas. I think I got to disagree as well, only because I I don't. What third team would go? Right? Like, there's mm. a real good chance Energy goes. There's a real good chance Sentinels goes. What other NA team would go? I. Ooh. Okay. All right. I like it. I like the. The, the questioning there. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Well, you know what, guys? Good news is we passed the game. We win. We win. Yeah, you won.
Oh, I got too high all day. I'm, I'm good. I'm good on that. <laughs> what you won was to take a look at the standings. There you go. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, you owe me a Coke. All right. Uh, so here we go. The standings as they are right now, the Omega Group with those two wins stand tall above the victorious MIBR. Ooh, Omega Omega Group fans rejoice. Today they was an Omega it. They're day. on the board, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I actually kind of like this thing of like Omega Group versus Alpha Group. Yeah. At first I was like, ah, it's kind of weird. And now uh, the more I'm seeing it, the more I'm like rooting on the Omega Group there. How did it feel for you to be able to pick up that win today? Because th that was a... Uh, that was a big game, man. It was a much needed one. I think after the C9 week, we're like, guys, we got to kick it in gear right now. We got to show why we're a world championship caliber team. Yeah. And I think today we showed it. Yeah, and, and uh, something I did want to ask was about that week. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that the time from that week till now, it, it did feel like a team that came in with a renewed purpose, if you will. Yeah. Did you guys have a have a, like a serious conversation, or was, was any of that happening, or was it more just like get back to the server, get to work? Yeah, there was a lot of like tough conversations that we had to have with each other, just be real honest and blunt about things. You feel and, that was helpful? Yeah, and everyone just like voiced their concerns or however they feel, and then we just all got on the same page. I think before last week we didn't really fully feel on the same page, but I feel like this week, I mean, you see it in the server, it kind of feels like we're putting it together now. Yeah, yeah, definitely does, definitely does. Did you, I want to take you back to that quintuple or sixtuple overtimes, mm -hmm. however many that was. You guys were on that point for a little while. You had yeah. a chance to put them away and it felt like it just kept slipping away. I think, honestly, given the Leviathan that we saw today relative to the one that we saw last week or during kickoff, I think Old Leviathan loses that, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. Yeah. This read with this renewed purpose is much more confident, much more like dialed in and committed to what you guys are going to do. Obviously, obviously was able to emerge victorious. What would you say? Obviously, you know, preparation is one thing, but what was the biggest difference between last week's Leviathan and this one? Um, just confidence, man. Like, mm. we, we have Aspas, King, Mazzino, Tex. Put myself in there. Come. But, um, As you should. Yeah. Um, we all have insane aimers. We have very good comms for a mixed roster. And we just have to show it. I mean, don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your teammates. Just keep going. Yeah. Do you think you've been, like, kind of reinventing yourself as a player, too? I know, like, obviously, Conflanks is always going to be, like, a famous thing. Yeah. But um, I notice you, like, with the group a lot more. Yeah. And I don't even I don't even think I could pick out a round where you were, like, kind of wrapping around late round. Yeah. And it was, uh, I mean, yeah, it was different. Yeah. I mean, I think this game always tests you. I mean, I think these last, like, two months have kind of tested me to like reinvent how I play and kind of, you know, just find my new groove. Um, I think it's slowly getting there. I don't think it's all the way there. I mean, it took a while last year for me and I mean, it's happening the same this year. Um, but I think we're growing, I'm growing and it, it's just nice. I like feeling the improvement of everything. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, proof is in the win column there, baby. You beat the Madrid champions. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a pretty big deal. Congratulations mm. on that one. That's wild stuff. Let's, of course, take a look at the schedule and where we are as we get ready for some more matches tomorrow. Crew versus MIBR, NRG versus Furia. Uh, I'm stoked about that Crew MIBR game, but I got to tell you, boys, I'm pumped to see Demon 1 take the server. I, I want to see what this guy is going to be cooking up here it's going to be quite exciting uh yeah but that being said though folks i mean there you see the matches make sure you're there bright and early for those games well you know it's gonna be in the afternoon dog right it'll be like 2 p.m well it's like bright and early for gamers right yeah for yeah, actually for degenerate hours that's Very that's true. pretty bright early, i had to wake right? up at like 9 a.m for the you poor thing why am i here you know what i mean <laughs> like i woke up and i felt like it was just like a risen from a coma uh well guys thank you so much i want to thank you all for the time com congratulations thank on the you. win again o always a pleasure to talk to you as you know but uh good to see you guys pick up that dub on the stage. Thank today. you, thank you. That was awesome. And of course, can we just give a massive round of applause to Shazam? First day working analyst. That's baby. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> we got the ham horn. They were ready, bro. Oh, they were the, ready. It's the best day ever. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Same time, same place, right here. We'll catch you then, folks. Much love. By See the left soon. bundle. <laughs> By the left bundle. <laughs> appreciate you, brother. I thank appreciate y'all. Swings at the right time. Who's the Who's the There's no time. There's no chance. Hundred thieves. Number one. One enemy remains. My ult is ready.
goes on to win like a 2v4. <laughs> goes on to. Here's John Judy. Puts it halfway. Now sticking it down. One for one in front of the fight. And there comes all these defuses. So then pinned towards the back of the side. There's that first wing. Second shot coming through. Oh, no! from last boss. There's that first hedge on the top of the plate. Oh, the flanker drops with a red bull clutch. That's this that's might that's be it. Showstopper out. Akbos does not connect. Zeus is trying to stay alive. Swerved in by Leviathan. It turned to well, but Leviathan will win. Lotus. The walk across the orb, there's that first pick from King. Orb now coming down, surprise kill up his Elsis. Stand up with the last pick!